We all know it's super important to keep on top of that maintenance using the tools in your workshop. But today, we're taking a look at all the things in the cans and the bottles, things that are gonna make your e-bike run and look that little bit sweeter. Here on EMBN, we're sponsored by Muckoff. So today, in this video, we're gonna be talking about their products, but there are other products out there that will do a similar job. But these are my favorite ones in my workshop. So we all hate it when you're out and about on the trails, you pull your brakes and they do a horrible squealing sound, or they, they perhaps didn't quite have the bite that they first did when they were new. Well, Muck have got a product and it is the disc brake cleaner. Now this does a great job of removing all the grease and the oil and all the muck off of your rotors. Now over time, all that muck is gonna build up on the rotor and it will lead to a loss of braking performance. Now this is super simple to, uh, to spray on, just put it on the rotor, put it on the pads, let it evaporate and wipe the excess off with a dry cloth. It's really good at removing all that brake noise and it will restore that power. One thing it will not do is restore the power from contaminated pads. So if you've got a leak on your system and the pads are just howling with no power, this won't do the job. You're gonna have to replace those pads and put a fresh rotor on it. But if you haven't got that, that is absolutely amazing to put some power back into your brakes. Next up is gonna be silicon shine, and I absolutely love this stuff. It smells of cherries, well, cherry pop is the fragrance, so it smells absolutely amazing. And any part on your bike, if you spray this stuff on, it comes up absolutely amazing with the shine. And what this does is on things like your suspension components, it's actually provide a nice silky smooth layer, so it removes all that friction. If you just put this on your fork stanchions and your, on your air can, on your rear shock, it's gonna restore all that silky uh, smooth performance. Another great thing is polishing your bike. It's gonna add a nice shine to it. Wherever, just go steady, obviously not to get it on your brake pads or any of the contact points on your bikes because as I mentioned, it's super slippy stuff. And you don't want that happening on your bike. Another great use that I found for this is when it comes to washing the bike or going out of winter. If you spray this stuff on the down tube or the seat tube of your bike, it simply makes all that mud fall off before it even builds up. And therefore on an e-bike, you're saving all that weight and therefore it might get a little bit more range. Love this stuff. Now one of my favorite products coming from Muckoff is from their e-bike range and it has to be this waterless wash. Now as we all know, e-bikes and water don't mix. So it, it makes me cringe when I've gone for a ride and the bike isn't that dirty, but you do want to get a bit spanking and give it a bit of a clean and a polish. And this actually does it all in one without the need for bringing out the hose pipe and that risk of possibly damaging some electrical components on your bike because this stuff literally has no water in it and it is a wash and a polish all in one. So all you have to do with this, spray it on your, on your down tube, let it react and then simply wipe it off. Uh, it won't obviously remove all the dirt from those really digged rides where your head to toe in mud, but for those lightly soiled bikes, this stuff is absolutely amazing. Now we all love fitting fresh rubber to our e-bikes. There is nothing better than a fresh set of tires when it comes to an e-bike. Digs in on the climbs and shreds on the downhills too. But a couple of jobs that suck when it comes to replacing tires and getting your new rims ready is removing that horrible dried up sealant that you're gonna get in your tires and sometimes on the rim. So this stuff is really good. So this is the glue and tire sealant remover. Now all you have to do with this is run it round on the rim uh, and then all it's gonna do is react with that tire sealant and it literally just rubs off. You have to give this a little bit of time, five to 10 minutes to let it activate, but then you can simply go around with a cloth, agitate it, and it will literally fall off. And another good use for this one is removing stickers, say from your helmet or from your bike, maybe a brand that you've not so much love for anymore. You take the sticker off and it leaves that horrible sticky mess behind. Bit of this stuff on a cloth, rub it away, agitate it, and then you have that posh looking helmet or a nice shiny looking bike, amazing stuff. Now a lot of people think that the job is over once you turn the tap off and you've got that nice clean looking bike, but there's a lot of work to be done after you've actually finished washing your bike and it's something that's gonna make your life a lot easier. It's gonna be a water dispersing spray. Now muck off, do the bike protect and that is exactly what this is. It's a water dispersing spray. So it's really good at driving all the water out of those nooks and crannies where you can't actually see. 
Now a place I like to spray this is gonna be around the battery connections on my bike. First up, dry them off, just inspect them as well. Then I like to give them a little coating of this. Again, it's just gonna dry that moisture out. But what this stuff has in it is a corrosion inhibitor, meaning that it's not gonna rust as well. So potentially it was gonna rust, this stuff is gonna put a layer over it and protect it. Then just lightly coat a few other components on my bike that could potentially get water damage. Things like the control unit, just gonna stop all that buildup of water. And then all I do is get onto the chain, uh, make sure you dry that off. A classic that a lot of people do is put chain lube straight on a wet chain. Now you really need to make sure your chain is uh, clean and it's dry before you apply the lube because if you apply the lube, it's simply gonna trap all that moisture in there and it's gonna rust it out. And what lube are you gonna use? Well, that depends on the conditions. Wet lube for wet rides, dry lube for dry rides and it definitely does make a difference. So make sure you're running the right stuff. So there you go, a few items that I use here in my workshop to get my bikes running sweet and smelling sweet and give them that good shine that they deserve. Keep them looking like new. Love to hear what products you guys use. Get involved down in the comments box below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to EMBN and make sure you find and give us a follow on social media too. Just watching.